Today, I'm going to show you how you can take your videos from looking like this to looking like this without a single dollar spent. No lights needed. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, my last couple videos have been very long and in depth videos about After Effects. So, I figured we'd switch it up a little bit, get away from the long videos, and get away from the PC a little bit, and maybe talk about some lighting stuff for your YouTube videos. We're going to be making your videos look way better and have much better lighting without using a single light. Now, before you think this is impossible, how can I have better lighting without owning or buying a single light? Remember, we pretty much all have access to one of the best filmmaking lights in the world. And it's called sunlight. Oh, um, okay, so there's not much sun right now, but you get what I mean. Sunlight and daylight is one of the most utilized lighting sources in the entire filmmaking industry. It provides some incredible looking light. And even when I'm shooting interviews where I have access to thousands of dollars in film lights, a lot of times I'm just looking for windows, seeing if there's a way we can utilize sunlight because it is some beautiful light and looks really great on your face. And to prove it to you guys that you can get some incredible shots just using window light, just using sunlight, not buying a single light, let's take a look at some examples that I just shot earlier today. So here's a shot that I did with little to no light in this entire room. The way you get proper exposure when you're in such a dark room like this is you normally have to crank up your ISO or if your camera's set to an auto exposure setting, your camera's normally automatically cranking up your ISO. And that's why you get this really bad grain that you see in the shot. It's like this colorful video grain and it looks awful. And if you're familiar with shooting on webcams in maybe dark rooms, you've probably seen this before. It is not a great look and it is a very clear sign of someone that is very amateur when it comes to work with cameras you really don't want to crank up your ISO each camera has a native ISO you can look up your camera and find out what the native ISO is and that is the ISO number that your image is going to be the most clean around you want to keep it at the native ISO if possible if you need to crank it up because you're in extreme low light you can but you are going to get this grain no matter what camera you're using when you crank up the ISO you're going to get grain if you spend a hundred dollars on a webcam or ten thousand dollars on a cinema camera every single camera needs light it's gonna look garbage unless you give it the light it needs. I've said this on my channel all the time, but usually I'm recommending lights that you can buy down in the description. And there are lights down there if you want to buy some in the description, but I'm going to show you today what it looks like if you just shoot in front of a window. You don't need to buy a light, just shoot in front of a window and it'll look like this. This is the exact same shot. I haven't changed the camera. I haven't changed where I'm standing. I haven't changed anything. All I've done is open the window that's next to me and this is what it looks like. This is the difference between shooting in a dark room and not giving the camera the light it needs and giving the camera the light it needs in the form of a window. You can see how incredible this shot looks and it's using zero dollars in lighting. And if you do have a budget for a light, maybe instead of buying a nice soft box to brighten up your shot, you buy a colored light, an accent light, because if you add it to this shot, as you can see, now you're getting the typical Bravity M look in a YouTube video. Normally I have a really nice light on my face and then I have the blue light in the back. And as you can see, this looks great. And all I'm using is just sunlight and a cheap light from Amazon. This shot looks so good for being so simple. I literally have to break out my vlog camera to show you how simple this is. So if you take a look at the vlog camera, it is literally just my camera and a monitor here. There's not a single light shining on me right now. It's just these windows right here. And the only light I'm using in the entire setup is this little cheap blue light from Amazon. There will be a link in the description sitting on my couch. That is the only light for this entire setup. It's just my camera, some windows, a blue light from Amazon, and look how freaking good this shot looks like just using that. It's insane what just a couple windows and some sunlight can do. See? It looks incredible. It looked so good when I was filming that. I didn't plan to shoot anything with the vlog camera. I didn't plan to shoot anything with audio. It was just test shots, but I had to show you how freaking simple the setup was to get a shot that looked that good. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you do want to buy some lights, I will have a link to the description for the softbox that I kind of use when I'm shooting this stuff. I'll have a link for the blue light that you see in all of my videos and the one that I just showed you using the vlog camera. If you want to go buy that light, it is an RGB light, so you can do red, blue, green, all kinds of colors, and it can immediately make your shot look a lot better when you have a colored light in the background like that but I hope you guys understand now that if you want to start YouTube and you only have a webcam or you only have a phone or you have a cheap DSLR make sure you're giving it the light it needs and that can be in the form of a freaking window and it can look incredible 
without buying any lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy videos like this where I talk about how to make your shots look better for little to no money, let me know and we can cover more camera techniques and shooting techniques and lenses and cameras and all kinds of stuff. I love talking about that stuff and taking a break from After Effects and the stuff on the PC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.